guys, it's finally here. The Mina Lima Illustrated Edition Chamber of Secrets book. Finally, I've been waiting to do this video specifically for you guys for quite some time and now we finally have it here in our grasp, in our hands. Came all the way from London, so let's just go ahead and just start the video. You're a wizard, Harry. What's going on guys? My name is Johnny. I go by The Collecting Wizard and today we are unboxing Mina Lima's illustrated edition of The Chamber of Secrets. This is the second book of the series. Uh, they are going to do all seven books which is amazing because I love collecting books as you guys can see. And this one is probably one of my favorites. Uh, definitely this one being the best cover art that I've seen. But this one being my favorite book to just go ahead and give someone. You can go ahead and give this to your loved one, witch or wizard, and even a muggle um, for Christmas. This is a really cool illustrated book. Uh, this is probably my favorite to give to a child if I was to give it to a child because it has a lot of really cool pictures, a lot of pop-ups and foldable pages you guys just have to go ahead and check it out but that's why you're here we're gonna go ahead and open this one not only this one but this is this is a little sneak peek of maybe possibly a future video but I already have the other one so not only am I unboxing this one being the one from the UK but this one is the one that I got in Barnes & Noble and the only reason I got this one well the only reason I got two of them is because this one in Barnes & Noble if you get it on the release day they give you an amazing poster which I'll go ahead and show you guys um, but yeah I collect all the posters and I'm gonna have them all over the wall and you guys will be the first to see actually Instagram will go ahead and see it first. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, it is the Collecting Wizard, just like my channel's name. And you guys will be the first to see all these really cool illustrations that Mina Lima has designed. So, oh, also it was 30% off. So anytime uh, Mina Lima, any Harry Potter books come out on the release day, if you guys are able to go on the release day, they are always going to be 30% off. So that's a good bargain, especially on release day. So I'm gonna actually put this one away and it was actually a sneak peek if you guys have seen it here um also check out i have both the philosopher's stone and the sorcerer's stone here so i have both of them here and the same thing that i do with these um and the reason why we go ahead and get the one from the uk from mina lima's official website they actually signed them so this one in particular is signed by mina lima themselves and of course, I can't wait. I've been, I, I've had this. Actually, funny story is that this was actually sent to my Miami house and I wasn't able to have it for the time being. So uh, when I moved to Orlando, I was able to buy uh, the regular one that you get in Barnes and Noble. Um, and even then I couldn't take any pictures of it, couldn't film because of the whole move and I wasn't here in my uh, studio. So now that I'm here, I'm so I'm so happy to finally be here. They sealed this really, really good. It's, it has like some styrofoam, not styrofoam, is it styrofoam? It's like a foam. I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Okay, and it's this right here. Oh, I can't even, I have to like open the whole thing. Look at this. So it was exactly like this in this foam um, like thing here. Is that it? Yes, that is it. So put this here this and the moment of truth okay and it comes with Mina Lima classics illustrated uh, books and interactive design so they just have a really cool little pamphlet here um, to go ahead and promote all the other um, illustrations that they have and all the other books but this is why I'm here this is JK Rowling's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets designed and illustrated by Mina Lima. I'll go ahead and show you guys up close of this beautiful cover art here. But oh my goodness. I know I did one video from, I believe last year, of um, Mina Lima's designs, both on the Philosopher's Stone and the Sorcerer's Stone and showed you guys the differences between them. I'll go ahead and um, do a whole video if there is a big difference on the Chamber of Secrets from the UK and the Chamber of Secrets from America. Uh, the only thing that I could think uh, that I could think of from the top of my head is probably the signature inside 
um, but oh my god this cover is so beautiful so of course you have all four houses in each corner you have a spider you have spider webs you have a dagger you also have a mandrake snakes on both sides of the arches you have the sorting hat is that a chicken i think that's a chicken i think that yeah i think that's a chicken and um a basilisk fang that's like broken in two or a wand it could be a wand i have no idea and of course in the front you have the hogwarts express and on the top you have harry and ron with hedwig on the top flying over the hogwarts express with the ford anglia and of course check this out this is this is why i bought this book and it is the signature of eduardo and me is it me i can't even pronounce her name right now um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna botch her, her name, but it's both Mina and Lima. Oh, in the back, this is really cool. It says, about the illustrators, Mina Lima is an award-winning graphic design studio founded by Mirafora. There we go. Mirafora, Mina, and Eduardo Lima, best known for establishing the graphic style of the Harry Potter film series. Since founding their London-based studio in 2009, they continue to be involved in the Wizarding World franchise through numerous creative partnerships from publishing to theme park design. More recently, Mirafora and Eduardo have returned to the Wizarding World to create the graphic identity for the Fantastic Beasts series. Mina Lima is internationally renowned for telling stories through designs. And it talks about the author. J.K. Rowling is best known for the author of seven Harry Potter books which were published between 1997 and 2007. Now's the cool part. Now we're able to go inside the book and check out those illustrations that they're so famously known for. And I'll go ahead and just talk briefly about all the cover arts and just some that you know that catch my attention right off the bat. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what caught my attention. Um, the worst birthday and Harry looks already mad at the fact that you know, he's just dealing with the Dursleys again. Dobby's warning July 31st yeah I, I love looking at the little details and more oh my what <laughs> his underwear is on the floor and everything okay so here's our first one and it's the burrow has this little paper here holding the you know the burrow oh that's why that's what I think the rooster is for is it's for the burrow representation of the burrow Oh, he's falling down. Oh, that's hilarious. He falls down. Oh, that's awesome. This is the Whomping Willow. Oh, that's cool, dude. We have a picture of Snape. Evening Prophet. Flying Ford Angler mystifies muggles. He is an ugly mandrake. I would be terrified of that mandrake if I, if I was stuck with him. The Death Day Party. This is actually one of the chapters that you never really see in the movie. So it's really cool that they went ahead and still, you know, showed off what the Death Day Party look would look like um, in illustrated form. Um, but yeah, I would love to get you know a huge like extended version of the sorcerer so i know it's not possible right now but it would be cool and these actual these actual books i actually keep in pristine condition um the ones that i really you know uh beat up on is the other ones so the other ones probably gonna be opened up and looked through more you know aggressively this one i am gonna keep the the little papers in between them oh okay so this is the okay dude this is this one's really cool so this is the griffin in front of um the doors to get to dumbledore's office and you're able to fold it up and actually it opens you open it with both hands and you see harry and minerva going up oh because you're able to move each face and this is when they're drinking the polyjuice potion. So they're able to, you know, they're transforming into a uh, crab and goyle. The very secret diary. This is mostly just, you know, pictures. All right, so he is opening. Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, but this one, this one's an actual regular looking snake type, you know, uh, being. 
the other one was this really massive basilisk uh, this one looks more like a snake so yeah you pull this down and the snake comes out really cool um, but it doesn't give me you know the basilisk vibe it gives me more of a snake vibe even though you know basilisk is pretty close to a snake but you get my drift oh i really like this gryffindor sword oh it's the it's a sock Dobby sock he he's finally free he is a free elf oh something i also forgot to mention is that on the side over here not only does it have jk rowling which is the author of the books uh, it has Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It has this really cool tower and it says year two, designed and illustrated by Mina Lima. So, let me actually, oh, okay, never mind, because there's no, ah, leave that one there. So, Philosopher's Stone. So this one is the one that's also signed. And if you guys put them right next to each other, it has, oh wait, wrong side. <laughs> I would imagine that it's gonna look like the the Hogwarts castle uh, so here you have year one and year two right next to each other I'll go ahead and show you guys a better view angle of them but right now that's what it looks like so it's really cool um, this one though the Philosopher's Stone has the Philosopher's Stone um, lettering inside um, the, the castle Whereas, oh wait, and you also have a different wand here too. Whereas the Chamber of Secrets has Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets sign and lettering on top of the arches. So it's just little differences here and there, but nothing too crazy. Actually, you know what I could do for the next video? If you guys want, I could do a video on the differences between the Philosopher's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets uh, covers and back if you guys want to. So. Go ahead and like it down below if you guys want to go ahead and see that uh, video because there are some differences between each book and I mean like, like I said they're both you know have their signatures so it's really really cool I'm definitely gonna cherish these a lot and that my friends is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Illustrated Edition um, I'm actually gonna open the other one because why not I already have it here um, but yeah guys if you guys like this video definitely leave a like down below and if you guys are new here however hi my name is johnny i go by the collecting wizard and i talk about everything harry potter and theme park related content on a daily basis so if you guys are new here definitely hit that subscribe button down below um and, and join the family we talk about everything harry potter as you guys could imagine um, and if you guys are new here check out some old videos while you're at it so without further ado, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.